Hey everyone, Zero Jedi here with the XBLA Fans channel. I'm here to get a quick taste of Okinawa Rush, a retro arcade game that I have to say that's almost metal sluggy in a, the sort of like like impact of its combat. It's really good. It feels like really weighty and squishy. Yeah, squishy is a really good word for it. Uh, there are two game modes, arcade mode, which just kind of lets you go through the levels with a uh, timer. There's no real story. Uh, you can probably get the gist of it, but uh, story mode is what I'm going to show off. I'm on the second level here, and the story is... Uh, your wife is murdered and your kids are kidnapped and uh, you are going for revenge. Yeah, just, it's a revenge story. Uh, I've really liked this game so far. There are some weird things that go on. Uh, there's this like dojo where you can actually go in and train to improve your stats. You can buy these items, which you can actually then use uh, feng shui and line them up to make, like give yourself uh, better buffs and stuff like that, which is really neat. I don't know how to get to that, actually. Uh, I thought it was when you died, you actually could go back to that menu. That's not true. I thought it was before menu, uh, before levels. That's not true either. So I'm not sure how to get to it. Take my word for it. It's a really cool thing. Uh, the uh, the training is actually a button uh, prompt inputs, which uh, can increase like your strength, uh, your health, stuff like that. It's neat. Uh, but anyways, uh, I've enjoyed the game so far. As you can see, I have the wonderful F rank here for Fantastic. Uh, and uh, I'm on the stage two here. There's looks like there's only about five stages, so not super far in, but not the longest game. Uh, my biggest issue with this is that uh, we're gonna let's go with yellow belt. I've been playing on orange belt, and I've been dabbling around. But if you go to white belt, there's a chicken in the uh, in the shadows. Yeah, uh, there are weird inconsistencies at times. Uh, Sometimes the enemies do next to no damage. Sometimes they do a massive amount of damage. It's weird. Uh, the bosses also sometimes have instant kill attacks that require you to, like, waggle the stick. Uh, the boss that I'm on now will grab me, and I only have, like, a split second that doesn't feel long enough to, like, do anything happens. But anyways, I can punch. I have uh, fun uh, combos I can do. Different button prompts here. Let me show you real quick. Uh, there's an entire move screen. All that kind of fun stuff here. Uh, what is annoying is, you see how, like, red, a green there is jump? So, punch is actually A, and that, if you remap that, that remaps everything, in the even in the menu, so it gets confusing. So, A will no longer be selected. A might be, like, back or something, so that gets confusing, so I've kept it normal. But, yeah, and then, like, so B is still, like, back, but A also gets you out of this, uh, gets, like, forward. It's just, it's weird at times. But anyways, let's go. They're your kids. Uh, yeah, and the boss... It's just weird. Oh, down we go. We're gonna go over here real quick. Off we go. Also, sometimes stuff just seems too fast. Let me kill these fish real fast. Punch these fish. Kicks this fish. Oh. Combat feels really good, especially when there's like a bunch of like ninja assassins on the screen and you're just ripping them apart. You can slam them into each other. It's great. Oh, we're gonna jump up here real quick. There's an extra life there. Gotcha. All right, cool. So this is actually down in a kick. Head on over this way. There are people you can save. I don't. Oh, hold on. Get back up here real quick. There we go. Uh, they give you uh, money, which then, like I told you before, you would actually buy items to uh, improve your dojo. Which, again, still don't know how to get up there or to it. Use this high jump to get this uh, life up. Uh, you look in the upper left. You can see my health. So I have a bar and about a fifth of another one. We're just gonna just mow through these guys. So if I get those red dots there all the way up, I can actually fire a special attack. You also have the classic, you hold your button. Oops. You have a classic super attack that will actually drain your life. But it's very powerful. No idea what's in the bottom left corner, by the way. Sorry if I didn't explain that because I have no idea. We're going to take the sword, though. And then we're just going to slash through those enemies. But we are going to step on the bugs. Even on the harder modes, these areas are, like, kind of easy. Especially once you get the sword. It's when you get to bosses and like slightly more into the level. 
see you behind there. Oh. Oh, I died. There we go. Like I said before, wildly inconsistent at time with damage. No idea what just happened. Maybe it's because I was behind a bush, so that may have just been me. Even with all that, I'm super into this game. Saw in a video that uh, someone jumping on top of bats got up and got a secret, and there's no secret for me. Not there specifically, but just in general. Always be on the lookout for secrets. Oh, get rid of that. We don't need to worry. Oh, there's my sword. Oh, my sword. I want that. The fish are on land now. Also, I've also had... I've also had issues where button prompts just don't register. At times, it's weird. Don't know what that is. There's some soba. Go away, fish. I just want the sword. Bye. We're leaving. We have the sword. We're good. There we go. Let's keep on going. But yeah, like, I've enjoyed it so far. There's weird quirks to it that I can't really figure out. We got that sword for absolutely no reason. Oh, dead. Weird quirks for some reason that uh, for that have just uh, once in a while bring it down. Save these people. But other than that, it's fine. You can also light these. Uh, at the top, you see there uh, these things I can do. I think if I do them all, I light a reload a torch game. Uh, I think I get an extra credit to continue. Kick a torch over. And then. Up, 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 up. Da, 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 da. There you go. Oh, Tengu. Punch the samurai to death. Come here, you. Mushroom. All right, let's try this again. Da, 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 da. I can also dodge. So I know in this area I need to actually find these uh, fun little uh, orbs to get to the boss. Wow, that dude just got launched. It is real fun to get like right in the middle of dudes and just go and this just launch them to the stars. It's very satisfying. Oop, I didn't even see you. Wow, it's a really good ninja. You look at the upper right, you can actually see how many uh, people I've saved. Another one. Four of those orbs remain. Hey, you're going to be freed. I don't know how to free the people in the swinging thing, though. That, uh... That, uh, life up that was there before. Get out of here. My tree. Ooh, sword. I'm going to free you. I don't know who's keeping all these people in these trees. You can look up and see my sword up in the upper left there. I actually think the rest of the orbs are actually this way. I don't need the sword to beat you. Oh, he just exploded. I wonder if it's because he can't go past that thing. That would make sense, though. There's also instant death traps. They always warn you, though. It's like, warning. See, there you go. There, there you go. I'm sorry. It says danger, not warning. Everyone goes off the cliff. Hold on. Let me save these people real quick. Okay, let me kill you now. Bye. Oh. How do you think you could do it by yourself when no one else could? I forgot how many uh, orbs I need. There's also critical hits. Give me all that goodies. Oh, got my sword back. You guys get to live, though. Thank you for waiting. Take this sword. 
throw that right now. Like that. And up we go. We should be about at the boss. I might need a, a one or more orbs, one or two more orbs. Yeah. Oh, there we go. So it doesn't take you directly to the boss. There's a little bit of a run up that uh, honestly just feels like to give you some uh, goodies to re revive you. Oh. See, I felt like I had a lot more life there and it just disappeared. It's just weird. Maybe I'm not paying attention to it because it's so up high in the, up in the corner of my screen. It's just, it's a ninja who just teleported in and out. It just feels like I can be taking almost no damage and then I'm just dead. And it's not one hit kills though. Ooh, I got a full bar. I think that's a uh, ultimate move. Shadow Ninja. Get out of here. I also don't know why my outfit is different. It was originally white, but your belt does match the difficulty level that you pick. Uh, and you get continues and stuff like that. Like right now I have three lives. Because I found all those ones earlier. He screamed. <laughs> Told you it's super weighty. I love it. it. It has such a good feel to it. There's a box over there. I'm going to save that because I need the health. If it's health. I think there's an achievement for beating up 10 of these dudes. Dreaming. Perhaps my greatest work yet. Mm-hmm. So he's turning people into trees. Come on. Fight me! Oh! That was a almost a one-hit death attack. Come on, I really want to... No idea what to do. I think he's rolling up. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. There we go. I was... Yep, see? Like, wildly inconsistent for damage and stuff like that. And I've lost all my super, so... Now I get to go and do that again. Luckily, uh... Oops. Let's see. Okay, cool. Uh, luckily, uh, bosses stay, like, at their current health. I found, uh, stay at their current health. Whoa. So at least through the, uh, lives that you have. So you can try to tough it out. But it just seems like something is slightly off when fighting the bosses. The first boss I beat because I was just jump kicking him to death. The only real thing that's explained to you is, that. Uh, is how to uh let's just do that continually. Oh no, he's gonna roll again. The only thing that's really explained to you is how to parry and then the basics of fighting. Oh, he's gonna roll again. No, he's gonna roll again. Come on. I really wish I knew what, like I really wish I knew what triggered the actual dojo so I could show it to you. Alright, oh wow. I don't know what just happened. I don't know why I just did a like a giant tech of damage to him. All right, cool. We did it. See another F for fantastic. I'm sure I could get a lot better at this. Some parts of it just confuse me. Where are we now? Another scary uh horse. Oh ninjas. I have no idea what just happened, but it was great. Anyways, I am ZeroJD. This is the XBLA Fans channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye, everyone. Take it easy.